Selections and Color Adjustments in Pixelmator Pro. Digital imaging applications like Photoshop and Pixelmator Pro allow you to change the colors of the pixels in an image. Selection tools let you choose part of an image in order to tell the program which pixels you want to change in the next step. After selecting an area, you can adjust colors or apply effects or gradients to that area. You can tell which areas have been selected because they will be enclosed in a blinking dotted line. Some people say it looks like a row of marching ants. To get rid of a selection and make the blinking dotted line go away, use the keyboard shortcut Command D. Deselect or disappear. There are a number of different selection tools in Pixelmator Pro, so let's take a look at each one. The one you'll probably use the most often is the Quick Selection tool. It's a good all-around selection tool that does a good job, usually, of guessing what it is that you're trying to select. The Quick Selection tool does especially well on images like this one, where the two parts are very different in color. So let's open that photo up in Pixelmator Pro and we'll go ahead and choose our quick selection tool. Then as you hover over it, it will give you a preview of which parts it would select if you were to press down um, on your trackpad. So just go ahead and brush over all the parts that you want to select, and then you can go into your color adjustments and make changes. I would suggest that you go up to the add button up there and add hue and saturation uh, because they give you a lot of control when you're modifying colors in a photograph. So let's say you did everything you wanted to do with the flower, but you still want to make some changes to the leaves. So in that case, you have to go down and press invert, which means select the opposite. And then you will have selected the leaves in the background and not the flower. Make some adjustments however you like. If you want to completely get rid of the color, you can drag that saturation bar all the way to the left and it'll become grayscale, black and white. Uh, so, and then deselect, Command D. So we had our before and our after. Um, and that's how you use the quick selection tool. So now let's take a look at the rectangular selection tool. As you might've guessed, this one is good for selecting rectangular objects, like a door or a window. So in Pixelmator Pro, we're going to choose the Rectangular Selection tool. Just click and drag and pull the selection to cover the area you want. Don't worry if it's not perfect because you have little handles that will let you adjust it uh, after you have let go of your mouse. And again, we'll add our hue and saturation sliders and just kind of play around with the hue until we like what we've got. Command D, deselect. That is the Rectangular Selection Tool. And we magically made our door purple instead of green. And then we have the roommate of the Rectangular Selection Tool, which is the Elliptical Selection Tool. And this one lets us make selections in the shape of an oval or a circle. Like this teddy bear's nice straw hat. So we open up our photo in Pixelmator Pro and we choose the elliptical selection tool. Uh, and you can just click and drag. Don't worry too much if it's perfect because again, you can adjust it with the handles and get it to fit just right. You can also nudge it with your up, down, left, right arrow keys on your keyboard until you're happy. Then you can go into your color adjustments. You can add hue and saturation and just play around with them until you get it to look the way that you want. And that is the elliptical selection tool. You can change colors of things that are round. And next up is the polygonal polygonal selection tool. It lets you select polygon shapes with straight sides. This would be a great tool to use if you wanted to change the color of this barn and make it stand out a little bit more in this photo. So we open up our photo in Pixelmator Pro and we go to the polygonal lasso tool. And you just click, let go, click, let go, click, let go, click, let go. And it will make straight lines between the points that you made. And then again, you can go ahead and adjust your colors as you wish. And when you're happy, you can do Command D, deselect, 
and you've made your barn stand out. So next we have the free selection tool. This one just lets you draw the selection wherever you want. So if the other tools aren't working, you might wanna try this one. It might be good for this little kitty because it's so similar to the background color. So you can probably tell like part of it by the chin is very, very close to the background color. So maybe your quick selection tool might have difficulty understanding which part is the cat and which part's the background. So you can try it, just kind of draw over the area that you want to select. And when you're finished, you can just enclose your selection. It'll say finish selection. You'll see like a little kind of a circle pop up. And then one nice thing that you can do with a picture like this, where you want it to be kind of soft, is you can refine your selection and you can try the different options. That one didn't work because it got rid of the shoulder, but you could maybe like soften it, for example, uh, make the edge softness higher. You can adjust it by expanding your selection. You have a lot of control over how the edges look if you don't want it to look really sharp. Uh, this is a great way to make it kind of softer and fuzzier. Perfect for a little kitten. So when you feel like you are happy with it, you can hit apply and then you can, for example, you could do something within your selection or you could invert, maybe just change the colors in the background a little bit, maybe make them a little bit um, higher contrast so they're more different from the color of the cat. And when you're happy, you deselect. And that's how you use the free selection tool. And finally, we have the magnetic selection tool. This one tries to be like a magnet and cling to the edges of things, kind of like the free selection tool, but it tries to help you out by kind of guessing what you might be trying to select. So let's try it with this bird. So you kind of just loosely go along the edges. And if it's having difficulty with something, you might need to click to put a little point to kind of guide it, let it know I want to stop here. I don't want to go in there. Um, and when you reach a part like that, you should hold down option and that will make it into a straight line like the polygonal lasso tool. Uh, so you can get your corners really nicely. So we've selected the bird, but the magnetic selection tool kind of missed some of the parts of the feathers in the back of the head. So you can go add to selection and use a different one, like for example, the quick selection tool and just go in and add on that area and it will hopefully catch whatever the other tool missed. So we've gone over how you can adjust the colors after making a selection. This time I'm just going to show how you can apply an effect to the selected area. So I'm going to invert the selection so we actually have selected the blue background rather than the bird itself. And then go to the effects browser. Uh, it looks like kind of a star. Then you can go ahead and just explore the default ones that they have there for you. But just as you can with the color adjustments, you can also add more effects. And there are lots of really cool ones, so make sure you explore them. Uh, so just experiment and apply the ones that you like. And same as before, you go Command-D, deselect to get rid of the marching ants. And that is how you use the magnetic selection tool with effects.